Hey everyone, I'm Shilpa, and this next module will cover useful suggestions and guidance towards how to prepare for your next interview. First, let's discuss different ways you can prepare for an interview in the near or distant future. To begin with, it may sound obvious, but you should never forget that when preparing for an interview, you should consider conducting extensive research on the company you're applying for. This includes understanding what the values and priorities of the company are. You can find this kind of information on the job, job description or their website. Uh, if you're unable to find a lot of information or if it's unclear to you, be sure to ask during the interview. Being well informed of the company you want to apply to shows how passionate you are and is an easy way to understand their purpose and express the areas that you could support them in. Next, determining how your skills and background align with the company you're applying to is essential. If these connections are not clear in your resume, make sure to clarify them during the interview. This is because highlighting and revealing how you fit in their company professionally allows them to better visualize the tasks and roles they will be able to undertake. Furthermore, it's important that you have a good understanding of the position you want to be a part of and the requirements needed in order to be a strong candidate. Do you have the skills needed in order to succeed in the position you're applying for? If there's areas where you're lacking, be honest about it and instead focus on highlighting other strong alternative skill sets you have that may complement the position well. Preparing this ahead of time will show that you're aware of the kind of work you'll be getting into and how you'll, be, how you'll grow or compensate for areas you may not be able to deliver at in the time. You should also consider asking yourself potential interview questions and voice recordings or noting down responses you would give. Potential interview questions may include describing yourself and your passions, the level of expertise you have on a topic or tool, previous relevant experiences, or further detail into previous activities or positions listed on your resume. This will help you identify any weaker responses that need further improvement and allow you to be more prepared to answer topics that weren't given enough consideration, consideration previously. We'll focus on things you should always do during an interview that can increase your chances of employment. During an interview, be sure to focus on presenting yourself as confidently as possible. Physical indicators include professional clothing or posture, but indicators of confidence can also stem from verbal clarity, enthusiasm, and a strong belief that this position is best suited for you. Additionally, having clear responses and showing interest will express a stronger, stronger level of preparedness in addition to displaying the level of willingness you have in terms of handling any challenges within the position. Finally, leaving a strong impression on the interviewer by highlighting your skill sets, expressing your passions, and just being yourself will all help contribute to making a more meaningful and memorable interview. Finally, we will go into some advice on things you should do after an interview is completed. After an interview, it's important to ask any questions related to the position that you need further information on. This can include insights on daily, daily work life, examples of tasks you may receive, how to further, further prepare for the position, further clarity into work expectations, and anything else you may be curious about while you still have the opportunity to ask in person. Of course, thank the interviewer for their time and for considering you for the position, and this is also just a kind thing to do that shows respect and consideration towards others. This can be at the very end of the interview, or it can also be in the form of an email if time is short. Finally, provide or request additional information in a follow-up email if needed. If there's questions that you're unsure about that need more time to consider, or further questions about the position that you only realized post-interview, Follow-up emails can help express those thoughts. Next, we'll get into our where in the world. This image was taken on July 6, 2020 by an astronaut in the International Space Center and shows all 34 of Kahiawa's wind power facilities, wind turbines, which provides much of the Maui's electric power. Thank you again and good luck on your next interview.